in the studio is Kristen Bailey, and I'm gonna I'm gonna change your name and make it Adventurer, <laughs> Kristen Bailey, wow. because because well, you're going on an adventure. So yeah. we're gonna talk about that. And you were here a few months ago, and uh, lots of progress. So t tell everybody what you're doing now. Okay. Um, in June, I'm doing something called Climb Against the Odds, and I'll be climbing Mount Shasta with the Breast Cancer Fund and about 30 other climbers, many of which are breast cancer survivors. Um, I lost my grandmother to breast cancer when I was kind of young, so that's why it's personal to me. And I'm fundraising. A uh, minimum of $6,000 is what the um, requirement is for each climber. And I'm doing pretty well, and I actually just raised my personal goal to 10,000. That's so. great, because all the money, now the money that you're raising, where does that, what does that go towards? Sure, it goes to the Breast Cancer Fund, which is a research-based um, organization that focuses on prevention, um, which is, is great. Awareness is obviously important, but prevention um, will help us a lot in the long run. You know, when I think about, I have a daughter, I think about her, I think about my family, having lost a family member to breast cancer, um, I would love to see us get away with not having another diagnosis in our yeah. family. So. And so having a, you know, just raising more and more money, yeah. it's, all, it's all good. Yes. It's yeah. all good. So you've got some events that are coming up, mm -hmm. and uh, so we're going to talk about that, and then we're going to talk some more about the climb, because we've got to get, uh, get the okay. scoop on that, so that's really cool. Great. But coming up on April 25th, you've got a big event coming up. Yes, very exciting. Um, I'm getting some local support, a lot of local support, but the local grocer and Be Well Studios is uh, sponsoring an event on a Friday night, April 25th, um, Friday Night Right we're calling it, and uh, it's a $20 entry donation to support my climb. There will be live music by Shelburne Edition, some folks from the North Country, some fun bluegrassy kind of music, um, local, all local food, um, very healthy, organic, sustainable sort of um, businesses are donating food. Of course, um, the folks at the local grocer have a lot of connections for that. Yeah. Um, local beer, wine, mead, um, and so food, drink, music, all great. On top of that, there'll be free um, mini spa services and holistic um, health services like mini facials and chair massage and some other stuff like Reiki and psychic readings and all kinds of oh, fun stuff. Great. So, the, so you're starting the weekend off, right? Yes, That's why you're calling it Friday yes, night, right? Yes, exactly. And you know, we're, by that point, we're in the mud season. Yeah. So you need you need a little bit of rejuvenation <laughs> true. Uh, yes. for that. So that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, and we also will be having a silent auction, um, which I think people love, especially yep. since I'm um, hoping to really uh, highlight and feature local businesses, small businesses, environmentally conscious businesses. Um, and I'm getting some incredible support from some of my favorite local businesses from the North Country, from the Mount Washington Valley, and all the way down to the Lakes region where I live. And I even um, have gotten some other donations from like Red Ants Pants, which is a Montana company. Uh, um, entrepreneurial woman out west making work pants for women. She donated a gift certificate, but oh, that's you know, great. all kinds of support. White Mountain Cafe um, up in Gorham, Debony and Jackson, um, Big Love Burritos out of Sandwich, and all, all kinds of fun stuff. Well, that's uh, that that's reason enough to go right there. Yeah, so you can, yeah. Uh, Check out the silent auction. That's coming up April 25th. April so just 25th. about a month from now. Yep. So I'll uh, give you plenty of opportunity. And if anybody else wants to donate something, they got plenty of time yes. to do that. Yep. And then we're going to do, well, we, we <laughs> then we're going to do, yeah, Kristen's going, yeah, Rob, you're not doing it. <laughs> um, you're going to climb Mount Shasta. Yes. And that sounds really cool. Yes, I'm so excited. And um, it's a really neat way to do it. You know, it's it's. I think it's going to be fun. It's not necessarily where I would have picked when I I learned about the climb against the odds. They had just done Aconcagua, um, and at that time, I was really interested in doing some climbing in South America. And I did. I wound up going to Ecuador for a few months and climbing down there. But that was a long time ago. So, um, although I have some experience, um, I'm looking forward to doing. It's a guided hike up Mount Shasta, up the yeah. west face. So, um, we will break up into teams of five on summit day. And not every team is going to summit. You know, there's always, you know, something that could happen. People who, you know, aren't feeling well from altitude or yeah. anything can happen. 
Um, so there's a lot of training involved. I just got a package in the mail from the Breast Cancer Fund, including this nice North Face jacket. North Face is one of their big sponsors. Terrific. I got this and um, shell components, uh, an Osprey pack, um, Lecky trekking poles, a bunch of Luna bars for training and there's more stuff coming. That's so great. it's it's a really fun, different way to do it. It's very exciting. Different than planning my own yep. adventure. You know, it's being part of it. And I can't wait to meet my, my teammates. We've done conference calls um, about once a month. So you get to know people a little bit. And yep. then I look at their, um, their fundraising pages and things to see a little bit more about them, but it looks like just an incredible group of people, so I'm really looking forward to that aspect of it. And too. how tall is Mount Shasta? It's just over 14,000 feet. It's a volcano in Northern California, um, and it's it kind of comes up out of the landscape on its own. Um, I think it's the second highest in the Cascades. Yep. Um, and that's about all I know about it, so I'm really excited to be in sort of unchartered territory. Well, that sounds neat. You said that they've been having, a, they hadn't had a lot of snow, but now they're getting a lot of yes, snow. Yes, they are. The top, I think so. they're just below average on snowpack right now, and a lot could happen between now and then. Right. So. Um, oh, they, is that a photo of Mount Shasta? That's Mount Shasta. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Now, are you going to the peak there on the left hand yes, side? Yes, I think the little one is called Shastina. It has, I think that this, it has two craters, this volcano. Yeah. Um, but, and whichever the west face is there, that's yeah. the way that we're going. I would at. just be happy just to sit there and look at the mountain all day. Yeah, so, it, it uh, really is. If like I that. join your trek, I'm not going up, I'm just going to sit there <laughs> okay. and look at the mountain. Great. You, you know, just, just look at pictures, even. That looks, Great. That looks a lot of fun. <laughs> You know, I think a lot of climbers, um, particularly survivors, do bring family and friends. We, we stay at this Mount Shasta Lodge at the base when mm -hmm. we're getting ready before we hike into base camp um, and then do our summit bid. And um, a lot of people do go with them and stay at the lodge oh, and, and root them on as they take off. And um, so there's definitely ways to enjoy it besides going all the way to the top. They probably look there and they go, see that little dot? Yeah. I think that's Christian, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Yeah. Tiny dot. Well, that's great. That just yeah. sounds like a lot of fun. Now, you also have, as we like to promote it, the longest blog name <laughs> in the world, blog. That would be a good name, the longest blog name in the world, dot com blog. So what is your blog name? It's, it's Kristen Bailey's Climb Against the Odds 2014 at blogspot.com, I think. But you could, I, can, you could probably Google you, couldn't yes, you? Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. If you Google me, it, that'll come up immediately. And um, I'm blogging about everything. There's my new fundraising goal. Um, there's links to donate. There's links to the Breast Cancer Fund. Um, there's a little bit of a history on the Climb Against the Odds on there that I just posted last night. And um, I'm also talking about training. I did a post on soccer. There's my grandmother's prayer flag. Oh, cool. That's one of the neatest things um, that we do as a team. If anybody donates $100 or more, you can get a custom prayer flag made that I will bring on my climb wow. to the summit. And they send, they send my strand of prayer flags they make for me for the climb and then they send another copy of the prayer flag to whoever you want. My mother got that one for my grandmother and she had it sent to me but I actually just brought it to her this weekend and wow. she was in tears. She was so excited. Well that's true. Well, there's a photo on uh on the flag, yes. you can't see it, and and everybody uh, holding, holding up their up prayer their flags. flags. That's really yeah. neat. That's a neat yeah. aspect of it. So, in honor of someone who's survived, or in memory of someone who's passed, it doesn't have to be a breast cancer survivor. It could be, you know, anything to honor people. It's Shasta is supposed to be a very spiritual place um, for one reason or another, and I encourage everybody to look it up online. It's it's really interesting. Um, so all. Although this climb is very personal for people, I think that people go to Shasta for a lot of reasons, many of which are, are very spiritual. So. That's great. That sounds a, just a great adventure. And it's just so nice to hear 
when you were here a few months ago and just just beginning and and uh, I think you had like six dollars <laughs> in your fundraising <laughs> coffer Probably. and uh, and I think some coins some loose yeah. coins a subway token you know all that that's how I'm but, gonna get to my goal <laughs> but it was great and uh, it just sounds like uh, things are going so well for you so we look forward to hopefully we'll get a chance to see you before June yeah and then definitely we have to have you back after you come back from the hike and so you can oh, I would you love know, that. take some pictures and you know she'll probably you'll just hold up your phone well here's a picture here <laughs> nobody takes cameras anymore it's just your phone. well that just sounds so great so definitely check out the blog christian yep. bailey's climb against the odds 2014 at blogspot.com or just you know google christian bailey yep. and good luck with this thank you and so uh, definitely much. uh the event on april 25th. april 25th at the local grocer 5 to 8 p.m i hope to see everybody there that sounds great thank and you. we'll be back here in a minute on what